Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. The Antonius Flower Farm produces 1,342 roses a day. If a flower costs 25 pesos, how much is the sale of Antonius Flower Farm in a day? So let's use the four-step line in solving this problem. First, you should understand. Looking back to our problem, what is the problem is asking for? Yes, you are right. It is asking for the amount of Antonio's flower farm sale in a day. Next, we should know what are the given facts. So, in this problem, what are the given facts? Very good. The given facts are 1,342 roses a day and a flower cost 25 pesos. You already understand the problem. So, what is the next step? Alright, the next step is you should make a plan. What is the operation to be used? Looking back to our problem, what do you think the operation that you are going to use? Alright, the operation to be used is multiplication what is the number sentence since our operation is multiplication then the number sentence is 1342 times 25 pesos is equal to n if you have already applied what is the next step yes you are right you are going to solve the problem so let's solve 1,342 times 25. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, 0, regroup 1. 5 times 4 is equal to 20, plus 1 is equal to 21, 1, regroup 2. 5 times 3 is equal to 15, plus 2 is equal to 17, 7, regroup 1. 5 times 1 is equal to 5, plus 1 is equal to 6. Next, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and lastly, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Then add the partial products. Bring down 0. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, 7 plus 8 is equal to 15, 5 regroup 1. 1 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 13, 3 regroup 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, Antonio's flower farm sale in a day is 33,550 pesos. Don't forget to write the peso sign in your final answer. Alright, we have already a solution to our problem. So, what is the last step? Yes, the last step is you're going to check or look back. One way to check the answer is is by using estimation. So, let's estimate 1,342 times 25. So, 1,342, we're going to round it off to the nearest thousands. This is equal to 1,000. And 25, we round it off to the nearest tens, and this is equal to 30. 1,000 times 30 is equal to 30,000. In our solution, the answer is 33,550. If we're going to round off 33,550 to the nearest thousands, then it is equal to 30,000. It means that our answer makes sense. Therefore, Antonio's flower farm sale is 33,550 pesos. Joy bought a shoes worth 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos. If she gave 2,000 peso bill to the cashier, how much is her change? So, we're going to use the four-step plan. First, 
we need to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is the problem asking for? Yes, the problem is asking for the amount of her change. Next, what are the given facts? Alright, the given facts are 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos. This is the worth of the shoes. And 2,000 peso bill, she gave it to the cashier. We already understand the problem. The next step is, we're going to make a plan. So, what is the operation to be used? Alright, the operation to be used is subtraction. What is the number sentence? Okay, the number sentence is 2,000 pesos minus 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos is equal to N. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 2,000 minus 1,499 pesos and 95 centavos. Make sure that the decimal points are aligned. So let's subtract. 0 minus 5 cannot be. We borrow 1 from non-zero digit, which is 2. And 2, it becomes 1. Then all the zeros except the last zero will become 9 and the last zero is 10. Okay, let's subtract. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then don't forget to put the decimal point into our difference and the peso sign. Therefore, the change of joy is 500 pesos and 5 centavos. Alright, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check your answer by repeating the calculation. This is one way to check if your answer is correct. This is A kilo of grapes cost 250 pesos and 50 centavos. How much will you pay if you buy 4 and 5 tenths kilos? We're going to use the four-step plan. First, we need to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Alright, the problem is asking for the amount of 4 and 5 tenths kilos of grapes. What are the given facts? The given facts are 250 pesos and 50 centavos a kilo of grapes, 4 and 5 tenths kilos of grapes. We already understand the problem. What is the next step? Alright, the next step is we're going to make a plan. What is the operation to be used? Alright, the operation to be used is multiplication. What is the number sentence? The number sentence is... 250 pesos and 50 centavos times 4 and 5 tenths is equal to N. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 250 pesos and 50 centavos times 4 and 5 tenths. So let's multiply. 5 times 0 is equal to 0. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 5 regroup 2. 5 times 0 is equal to 0, plus 2 is equal to 2. 5 times 5 is equal to 25, 5 regroup 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, plus 2 is equal to 12. Next, 4 times 0 is equal to 0. 4 times 5 is equal to 20, 0 regroup 2. 4 times 0 is equal to 0, plus 2 is equal to 2. 
4 times 5 is equal to 20, 0, regroup 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, plus 2 is equal to 10. Next, we add the partial products. So, bring down 0. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Bring down 1. Then, we're going to count the number of decimal places in our factors. So, we have 1, 2, 3. Then, we're going to count three decimal places in our product. So, we put the decimal point after 2. Then, we put the peso sign. Therefore, 4 and 5 tenths kilos of grapes cost 1,127 pesos and 25 centavos. Alright, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check your answer by repeating the calculation. This is one way to check if your answer is correct. This is Mother buys one half kilogram of chicken and three fourth kilogram of beef. How many kilograms of meat does she buy in all? To answer our problem, we're going to use the four-step line. First, we need to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Alright, this problem is asking for the number of kilograms of meat does mother buy in all. Also, we need to know what are the given facts. Alright, the given facts are 1 half kilogram of chicken and 3 fourth kilogram of beef. Yes, we already understand the problem. The next step is we're going to make a plan. So, under planning, we should consider what is the operation to be used. What do you think the operation that we're going to use to solve this problem? Very good. The operation to be used is addition. What is the number sentence? Alright, the number sentence is 1 half plus 3 fourth is equal to n. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 1 half plus 3 fourth. We're going to use the cross product method. So, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Then, we're going to copy the operation, which is addition. Next, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then, we're going to multiply the denominators. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Then, add the numerators. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Then, copy the denominator 8. Our answer is 10, 8. Are there any common factor between 10 and 8? Yes, there is. 10 and 8 are both divisible by 2. So 10 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 5. And 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. So what kind of fraction is 5 fourth? Yes, this is an improper fraction. The lowest term of an improper fraction is a mixed number. So we're going to change 5 fourths into a mixed number. So let's divide the numerator by the denominator. 5 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. We take this remainder 1 as our numerator and 4 the divisor as our denominator. So 5 fourths is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. Yes, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check the flow of your computation. Therefore, mother buys 1 and 1 fourth kilograms of meat. This 
A ling nana has a 15 and 1 half meters long cloth. How many blouses can she make if each blouse uses 1 and 3 fourth meters of cloth? We're going to use the first step plan. First, we need to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Yes, this problem is asking for the number of blouses she can make if each blouse uses 1 and 3 fourth meters of cloth. Next, we should know what are the given facts. So, what are the given facts in this problem? Alright, the given facts are 15 and 1 half meters long of cloth and each blouse uses 1 and 3 fourth meters of cloth. We already understand the problem. So, what is the next step? Yes, the next step is we're going to make a plan. So, what is the operation to be used? What do you think the operation that we're going to use in this problem? Yes, you are right. The operation to be used is division. What is the number sentence? All right. The number sentence is 15 and 1 half divided by 1 and 3 fourth is equal to n. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 15 and 1 half divided by 1 and 3 fourth. In dividing mixed fraction by another mixed fraction, first we're going to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So, we're going to change first 15 and 1 half. 15 times 2 is equal to 30 plus 1 is equal to 31. Then copy the denominator 2. Next, we're going to change 1 and 3 fourths into an improper fraction. 1 times 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Then copy the denominator 4. Next, we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. So the reciprocal of 7 fourth is 4 over 7. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 31 times 4 is equal to 124. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Then we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator, 124 divided by 14, and the answer is equal to 8. 8 times 14, the answer is equal to 112. 124 minus 112 is equal to 12. We have a remainder of 12. Since the question is, how many blouses can she make if each blouse uses 1 and 3 part meters of cloth, then our answer is a whole number. Therefore, she can make 8 blouses using 1 and 3 part meters of cloth. Alright, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check your answer by repeating the calculation. This is one way to check if your answer is correct. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With that, mathematics may not teach us how to add love and subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.